Hello everyone, welcome back to Vidya TV. In this particular video, let us see some MCQs related to fluid mechanics and hydraulic machineries. Very much important questions for uh, AWE examinations, TSPSC AWE examinations. Let us get into the video. The first question is, which of the following method is used exclusively in fluid mechanics? Which of the following method is used exclusively in fluid mechanics? And the answer is option A, Eulerian method. Option A is the right answer, Eulerian method. Next question is, stagnation point is the point in the fluid mechanics where the velocity of the fluid at that point is how much? Stagnation point is the point in fluid mechanics where the velocity of the fluid at that particular point is how much? It is zero. It is nothing but zero. Option D is the right answer. Next question is, the value of bulk modulus of a fluid required is determined. The value of bulk modulus of a fluid is required to determine the Mach number. Option C, to determine the Mach number. Next question. The inlet passage of centrifugal pump is controlled by what? It is controlled by the gate valve. That is option A is the right answer. It is the gate valve. Next question. The most common pump used for hydraulic fluid power application is what? Which one? The most common pump used for hydraulic Fluid power application is gear pump. That is option B is the right answer, gear pump. Next question. Conservation of angular momentum is described by what? Conservation of angular momentum is described by Euler's equation. Option B, it is described by conservation of angular momentum is described by the Euler's equation. Next one is with the increase in power, the efficiency, what happens to the efficiency? With the increase in power, the efficiency decreases. With the increase in power, the efficiency decreases. Next one is gear pumps are mainly used in chemical installations because they pump what? Gear pumps are mainly used in chemical installations because they pump high viscosity fluids. So gear pumps are used in chemical industries because they have the ability to pump high viscosity fluids. Next question. The energy usage in pumping installation determines what? The energy in pumping installation determines the frictional characteristics. Friction characteristics. Next one. The maximum speed of a reciprocating pump is how much? The maximum speed of a reciprocating pump is 20 meters per minute. 20 meters per minute. That is the option A. Next one. In which pump is the liquid in contact with both the sides of the plunger? In which pump is the liquid in contact with both sides of the plunger? It is nothing but double acting pump. In double acting pump, both sides of the piston is in contact with the fluid. Next one, dash is defined as the ratio between power developed to runner and power supplied at inlet of the turbine. Ratio between power developed to runner and power supplied at inlet of turbine is nothing but it is hydraulic efficiency. It is called the hydraulic efficiency. Next one, gear pumps are, these gear pumps are tangential flow pumps. Gear pumps are tangential flow pumps. Next one, with the increase in flow rate, what happens to the efficiency? With the increase in flow rate, efficiency definitely it increases. Directly proportional. So with the increase in flow rate, efficiency increases. Next question, the difference in the total head of the pump is called what? The difference in the total head of the pump is called manometric head. 
it is nothing but manometric head next question the ratio of manometric head to the work head is called what the ratio of manometric head to the work head it is called as eulers head it is called as eulers head next question dash is defined as ratio between power developed to runner and power supplied at inlet of the turbine dash is defined as the ratio between power developed to the runner and power supplied at inlet of the turbine it is nothing but it is the same thing hydraulic efficiency just now we have discussed about this question it is hydraulic efficiency again next one the product of mechanical efficiency and hydraulic efficiency is called what the product of mechanical efficiency and hydraulic efficiency it is called as overall efficiency <coughs> it is called as overall efficiency next one the work done per unit weight of water jet striking the runner blades of pelton wheel is given by what the work done per unit weight of a water jet striking runner blades of pelton wheel is given by sum of the whirl velocity vw indicates whirl velocity into u by g u indicates the initial velocity and g is the gravitational force so option a is the right answer vw1 plus vw2 into u by g option a is the right answer next one the force exerted by the jet of water in the direction of jet on moving curved blades is given by what the force exerted by the jet of water in the direction of jet on moving curved blades is given by rho a v into v minus u 1 plus cos k k is nothing but the theta angle so rho a v rho is the density a is the area v is the velocity and u is the initial velocity and theta is the angle of angle at which the plate is inclined so option c is the right answer rho a v into v minus u into 1 plus cos theta next one the expression for water power in pelton wheel is what the expression for water power in pelton wheel is rho g q h rho g q h that is option a is the right answer next question the fundamental significance of all the turbo machinery is what the fundamental significance of all turbo machinery is conservation of momentum conservation of momentum is the fundamental significance of all the turbo machinery next question among the following which turbine has the least efficiency the least efficiency is possessed by pelton wheel pelton wheel has the least efficiency pelton wheel has the least efficiency option a is the right answer next question rank right rankins formula this is a question from the sym rankins formula is holds good for both short as well as long columns right excluding this question all these are all these questions are related to hydraulics hydraulic machines and fluid mechanics very much important questions for awe preparation right that's all for this video thank you